Fala galera do MG Fan Forum, como estão todos preparados para mais um vídeo aqui no canal MG Fan Forum? Esse é um vídeo um pouquinho diferente. Eu sou o Daniel Jackson, espero que você já me conheça, porque se não, deixa sua inscrição aí no canal que ajuda bastante. Já deixa o like também, porque se você gosta de Michael Jackson, é claro que você vai gostar desse vídeo. Novamente, perdão pelos ruídos externos. Me segue lá no Instagram e no Twitter, se assim você desejar. E também acessa MG Fan Forum Rádio para ficar por dentro de Michael Jackson e também ouvir Michael Jackson 24 horas, né? Que tal? Bom, e o vídeo de hoje foi feito parcialmente pela galera do WhatsApp, lá do grupo principal. Fiz uma rápida entrevista entrevista com perguntas enviadas pela galera para o dono do canal History in the Mix, um canal americano que tem aqui no YouTube, de um garoto fã do Michael Jackson, muito bacana, e eu achei bacana marcar essa entrevista com ele, que é bem bacana a gente saber qual é a visão que os Estados Unidos têm do Michael Jackson atualmente e tal, ele morando lá, ele sendo um fã de lá, e eu peguei algumas perguntas da galera lá do grupo do WhatsApp, o grupo principal, e também algumas minhas, né? E vamos ver o que ele tem a dizer, né? Não, já não deixa de se inscrever no canal dele, History in the Mix, que é muito bem feito, muito bem produzido, e o rapaz é um verdadeiro fã de Michael Jackson, né? Bora lá! First of all, thank you for accepting my invitation for us to do a collab video together. I've picked some questions from the Brazilian fans. Many of them are subscribers of my channel, MJ Fan Forum. Being a US fan, I think misinterpretations about how Michael Jackson, how his legacy is treated by the fans there in the US. Well, the first question has to be, what's your name and how old are you? and where you're from there in the US. Uh, hey guys, JD here from youtube.com slash history in the mix. Basically, even though this shirt may be misleading, I sit in front of a camera and talk about Michael Jackson for the internet. It's a, it's a, it's a, fun, it's a fun time, it's a fun time over there. But uh, today I was asked by MJ Fan Forum to answer a few of your guys' questions about what it's like being an American uh, Michael Jackson fan. Okay, besides the fact that we have Donald Trump as our president, we can still enjoy the old days. My name's uh, JD, and I, uh, I'm, I'm 15, and I'm from Oklahoma, which is like right above Texas. Nobody really talks about Oklahoma. Well, a fan asked, what's the importance of Michael Jackson in the US right now? And I would like to know what do you think about that, and how is his legacy being treated there in the US. What people talk about Michael Jackson nowadays? The importance of Michael Jackson in the US, that'll actually shock you guys. It's, it's, it's not that much, really. Michael Jackson, currently, w with him passing away and stuff, is more like just like a nostalgia trip. Um, when it comes to like people talking about like, man, Earth song, such a terrific song. We don't get that a lot. Um, whether it be just being randomly mentioned in TV shows, and especially with the estate over here, don't they don't let Michael Jackson be mentioned a lot. And you know, guys, don't shoot the messenger. But uh, Michael Jackson's kind of a joke over here. I mean, usually people will make the high-pitched jokes or the, 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 the Neverland jokes. But he is still important to our music. Uh, people like The Weeknd or Bruno Mars are U.S. artists. I don't know if they're from the U.S., but we appreciate them o over here. They're, they're very influenced by Michael, and it's very obvious to see that. When, when it comes to music, they're very appreciated. But when it comes to every other form of entertainment, even if it's like Twitter or Instagram, uh, it, it, it's, it's more common to see jokes rather than somebody being like, wow, you know, that was, that was a great performance back in the Grammys. Doesn't happen a lot. Another fan asked, what's the importance of Michael in your life? Uh, great question. Uh, Michael's big in my life. Michael's gi gigantic. He, he's really formed my overall character when it comes to how I treat people and like with respect and stuff like that. I mean, I know that sounds corny, but uh, that's that, 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 that's really where I, where I am. You know, he, he was such a big part. I, I, I've grown up with him since I was like nine. Okay, so he, he, he's been there for a while and I just... If any of you guys are familiar with my channel, I did a video a while back that got a few views, I think like 9,000, where I talked about my experience of doing Michael Jackson at a school talent show. Like I legitimately went on stage and paid tribute to Michael. And that, that, that's really helped me. Uh, you know, I'll just be walking down the school hall and I'll hear, oh look, it's, it's Michael Jackson. And you know, that's, that's, that's cool. And, and, and even... My, my girlfriend right now is a big moonwalker, like not even like a fake moonwalker, like an actual moonwalker. Heard Invincible. So Michael's everywhere. Michael's everywhere. For me. Another fan asked if there's something in the US that you fans preserve and protect, like a statue, maybe there is, and we never heard about. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh, oh God. Um, this is going to make us look really bad. We don't have anything. Well, okay, maybe we do. The Hollywood Walk of Fame star, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with that. In, in, in Hollywood, we just have like a road that has like uh, uh, stars with famous people's name on them. Michael has one, he was there, and that's about it. That's, that's about it. There, there's some other little like handprints and autographs and 
little knickknacks, but a, a big thing that people like actually like, go and clean and take care of, the biggest one would be that star. Another fan asked, how did you become a Michael Jackson fan? Uh, my fan story, yeah. Um, I, I, I've told this story a few times back on the channel, but it's actually a really good one, and it's so good, uh, some people think it's fake, but I promise it's not. Uh, I remember being in an Italian restaurant uh, with, with my family, and I don't know if you guys know what it is, like a little Nintendo DS, like a Game Boy type thing. And I was uh, playing on that, and I couldn't hear it over the TVs that were so loud in the restaurant. And, um, you know, I asked my mom, like, why, why is the TV so loud? Why can't I hear, like, what I'm playing? She was like, oh, somebody died. I was like, okay, who died? Oh, just some pop singer from the 80s. Okay, what singer? Michael Jackson. I said, who? And we listened to Beat It, Thriller, and Billie Jean on the way home. And then the next week, I was surprised with Thriller 25, the album. So a lot of people will make fun of Thriller 25, but it just holds that for me. And so that was really fun. That's how I discovered Michael. Well, I kind of fell out of it and re-became a fan in 2014. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's been a fun time. What was your reaction about those three tracks from Michael album, you know, Keep Your Head Up, Breaking News, and Monster? The Casio tracks. Wow. That everybody says that is not Michael's single. What's your opinion about that? Okay, um, personally, I love the Casio tracks. I think, I think they're great. I also love to tour. <laughs> but I don't like the Casio tracks at all, and I think they should burn a fiery death and die horribly. The, just the idea, just the idea that an official estate could do this, it'd be different if Frank Casio friggin' upload the, uploaded them to YouTube. That'd be different, I could understand that. But an official estate releasing fake songs on an album is unheard of. And I don't know why it's like a bigger news story. I really hope this Casio case that's going on finishes soon so it can just be revealed how corrupt and stupid the Michael Jackson estate are in the first place. Also, the American fans used to gather around to celebrate Michael Jackson's legacy in June or maybe in August. Here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, every year we go to a public park, we fill up these white balloons and we let them fly into the sky for people to remember Michael Jackson. Even people who are not fans and they watch the fans dancing, listening to Michael Jackson's new songs. I think it's very important to keep Michael Jackson's legacy alive, you know? Tell me something about that. I've actually never really been to any. I am going one uh, to one in June, uh, the day before Michael's uh, death anniversary with uh, fellow Michael Jackson podcast, Moonwalk Talks, and that'll be cool. We'll see how that goes, but I mean, we've had a few. I think Spike Lee put on a few in America, and but but other than that, there's really not that many that I know of in my area. There's there's not. Thanks again for this video. I think it will be very important for the Brazilian fans. Thank you again. See ya. So uh, yeah, thank you for having me on the channel. This has been great. I loved answering your questions. Uh, you guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mixing History, and you guys can subscribe to me on YouTube, youtubecom slash History in the mix. Maybe there'll be a link in the description if we could work that out. This is usually the time that I would do my sign off, but I, I, it's not my channel. It wouldn't be right. So I, I, I give the courtesy back over. Grande JD, brigadão velho, realmente por você ter topado fazer essa entrevista, foi bem bacana. Seria ainda mais legal se a gente tivesse conversado ao vivo, né, do que um enviar os vídeos ao outro. Mas quem sabe uma próxima vez aí a gente não faça isso, hein? Muito obrigado a vocês que assistiram esse vídeo diferente que a gente fez aqui no canal, né? Espero que se inscrevam lá no canal History in the Mix do JD. Também deixa seu like nesse vídeo aqui. Digam o que vocês acharam aí nos comentários e também mais sugestões de outras pessoas aí pra gente continuar esse quadro bate-papo, né? Se você não viu o primeiro, foi com o Big Jackson aqui em cima, lá do canal Michael Jackson de verdade. Um grande parceiro e colaborador aqui da MJ Fanfaro, né? Valeu, galera. Obrigadão. Espero que tenham gostado. Fui!